How's it Chris, going? Good. Sure, Chris Reagan, Focus World. Anytime you're ready. All right. Describe Cop Car and what audiences can expect from it. A Cop Car is a lean, mean thriller about two boys who steal a cop car, and I play a sheriff of the small town whose car it is. And to say that they took the wrong car would be an understatement. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, John? Um, no, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> uh, John, you co-wrote Cop Car and yeah. directed the film as well. How did the idea originate? And Kevin, what attracted you to the scripts and how did you become involved? Uh, the idea started as it was a recurring dream that I've had since I was a little kid. Where I'm 10 years old, I'm in the passenger seat of my mom's car, and my friend Travis, who is also 10, is driving. We're driving around our small town, passing people we know uh, on the street, but no one is saying anything. No one's stopping us. No one's doing anything. Uh, and I'm starting to get nervous, like we're going to get in trouble, and Travis is going faster and faster and faster. Uh, and then I wake up, and it's this nervous dream I've had my whole life. And I always thought there was something evocative about that image of two little kids driving a car. I thought maybe it could be a police car. And then I pitched it to my friend, uh, Chris Ford, who I write with, and he was like, well, whose car is it? And then we realized we had a movie. <laughs> Fantastic. What attracted you, you to it, Kevin? I read Cop Car in one sitting without checking my email. And I felt like I had seen the movie, you know. Um, it, it was a script, even though it's very sparse in terms of dialogue, descriptively, you can really, really picture it. And I also, uncharacteristically, really pictured the character, the guy, you know. Uh, I, I, I heard his voice, and you know, voice to me is also the way he moves and, 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 and looks and, and um, the props and you know, all that kind of stuff like just kind of came to me in that one reading. And I thought to myself, well, I love this ride for two reasons. One is that I love the pace of it. I love the tension that they've been able to um, build. But I also love that underneath it all is a tremendous amount of heart and a story about a loss of innocence and an extraordinary day in um, these kids' lives that will change them forever. Fantastic. Um, Sheriff Kretzer stands out among some many memorable villains that you've played over the course of your career. Uh, what is it fun for you as an actor to play the hero, or more fun to play the bad guy? And what is challenging about it? You know, I don't, I don't really um, think one is more fun than another necessarily. You know, what's fun for me is complicated, interesting men. If they're heroes, great. If they're bad guys, great. Um, and I suppose, you know, the challenges of of, of anything are. Uh, to, to make sure that an audience understands uh, who this person is and um, hopefully to make them say either I can kind of relate to that on some level or I know some guy that's just like that. When somebody comes up to me and says, you know that character you played in whatever, oh, my, my, my Uncle Benny is like so <laughs> much like that guy, you know what I mean? Or even better, they'll say, that was me in, you know, whatever, high school, you know. So, <laughs> so I, 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 th I think that's, the, that's, that's what's satisfying and challenging. Fantastic. Uh, James and Hayes obviously are really terrific in the movie. What was it like working with them? What are some of the challenges as a director working with child actors and as an actor working with child actors? I mean, as a director, I, it was great because they're completely sincere and real and in the moment more... Um, than you can ever expect. I know you, you put a 10-year-old behind the wheel of a police car and uh, pull it down the road at 30 miles an hour, you're going to capture some pretty great stuff. So for me, it was just about keeping my energy up to match them so that they never got bored or distracted or, or tired. Fantastic. Um, I try, I mean, I think the challenge w w with, with a child is that y you got to hope that they're not going to somehow be you know, intimidated or um, that they will feel uncomfortable about some kind of a situation. So what I find as an actor is, is, to, is to come 
to to the to the process, not as a as a as a uh, a mentor or a teacher or a director. You know, he's the director. I want to come as a as a as a colleague and on a le, uh, as level a playing field as as we can get and say, hey, you know, we're going to be in this thing together, and you got a job to do, I got a job to do. You know, let's get the job done. Great. And where did you guys shoot the movie, and why? Uh, it's shot in Fountain, Colorado, uh, which is where I grew up. And there was a moment after everyone read the script where we were talking about where we should shoot it, you know. And I just said, why don't we shoot it where I imagined it, which is in my backyard. And amazingly, everyone was fine with that. And before we knew it, we were wrangling my whole family <laughs> to help uh, be the crew and, and dragging Kevin out to, to my hometown. Perfect. That's it. Cool. You guys nice. are done? Thank right. you. Thanks. Great. Thanks.